So back in the day, again, you used to do a lot of licenses. Mm -hmm. um, and you're still kind of doing that, but in a, in, a, in a different way, I think. I mean, you've got your own individual property with Shield Maidens now. But Sea of Thieves is a computer game. Yep. That, that's a relatively new phenomenon, doing computer game tie-ins. Um, Paranoia, obviously, pre-existed in other places. Traveler, obviously, pre-existed in other places. Um, but you don't seem to have you know, the, the old form of, of licenses, things like Starship Troopers that you did. Um, is that a conscious shift as well, or is that just the difference, different way the market is now? Um, at, at the end of the day, right from the very start, we've always done games that we want to play ourselves and basically hope that there's enough people out there who agree with our way of playing that um, it, it makes it worthwhile. That's the reason we, we've got Traveller and uh, Paranoia. Those are the games we played when we, when we were teenagers. Um, we don't have any conscious rule that we won't do licenses, but if something crops up like Sea of Thieves and we think, oh, that could actually make a good game or I'm really into that setting, um, then we'll we'll make some inquiries see if a license is available um mm. it's it's more about what we want to do on a creative level rather than um uh, have to do well put another way we're not going to go for license a b or c because we think it will make us squillions of pounds um mm. we have the we sell enough of our other books that we have the luxury of not having to do that um, so we, we get to pick and choose the, the projects we want. Mm. Yeah. You seem to have escaped the curse of the, uh, <laughs> of the license companies like last unicorn games and, uh, whoever it was that did angel and Buffy, a lot of these companies that seem to have done those seem to have ended up dying <laughs> quite rapidly. Back, back in the day, West End games was uh, another big one. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, such a shame about Star Wars, and I don't think anything else has ever touched D6 Star Wars in, in terms of you know, a, br a brilliant license. Uh, I was asked to ask you about the Elric um, and so on licenses. Do you mm -hmm. do you still hold those, or have they passed on to someone else? No, I, I don't know. I don't know where they are at the moment. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there's not, nothing to do with us. I mean, I did. I was caught myself thinking the other day, or well, it might be interesting. Um, because uh, we we don't have a fantasy, um, do we? We don't really have a fantasy game in our stable at the moment. Um, and I did catch myself thinking perhaps um, uh, Eternal Champion will be a fun thing to go back to, but we we've kind of done that. So I mean, never say never, but um, uh, I think there's probably other things we can do. Mm. You still got a uh, legend, which is requesting, isn't it? That, yeah, that needs something doing with it, um, either a second edition or something else. Uh, we would have done that already, but what we really need to uh, properly drive it forward is um, uh, two settings to launch with. One, we figure a license one, and one of our own, uh, one of our own making, and uh, the inspiration hasn't hit yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I did have this idea for some sort of um, uh, Robin Hood Sheriff of Nottingham Sherwood kind of game because that, that appeals to me. I don't think it'll be super popular, but um, uh, I like it. Maybe someone else will. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think there is there is something of a of a thirst for a slightly more historically. Um, I wouldn't say accurate, but plausible <laughs> sort of yeah. sort of setting, and um, yeah, a Robin of essentially a Robin of Sherwood RPG. If you think back to the old series, that's exactly what I was thinking. Of. Yeah, best, best Robin ever, best ever. Yeah, and all the kind of pagan, inf subtle pagan influences that were in there, and the forest replacing dungeon is. Uh, I think there's a lot there. I think you're. I think you're onto something there. Yeah, you you'd want was... to capture the relationship between uh, the sheriff and Gisborne as well. <laughs> yes, that was always really good in that show. It's a brilliant show. Go and watch it. Oh, yeah. Uh, avoid yeah. seasons three and four. Yeah, yeah. It goes rapidly downhill. <laughs> so Jason Connery, wasn't it, that took it? It was, yeah. Yeah, I saw him do The Taming of the Shrew in uh, Salisbury Theatre, and he was actually pretty good in that. Shame he couldn't bring that same energy to Rob. <laughs> but uh, what are you going to do? Um. <laughs> 